Into the zone he goes. He's able to play it deep. Wildcats will get that line change going now. Spielman tries to find one in the corner here. This is knocked aside, but kept in for a shot by Willow. Save made, rebound. Spielman tried to give it over to Gumas, but the pass off target. Breakout effort here hits Willow, so stays in the zone for Gumas. Gumas goes cross ice with a feet here. Willows gets a shot away. Save made somehow there by Witt. Knocked away and played up towards the point where Canola has it. Canola takes a shot, deflected in front, and a save made by Witt. Able to get it into the corner. Willows trying to find it there. Sorkin helping out. Sorkin has it. Sorkin pulls up in the corner. Leaves it for Willows. Willows walks it to the front, gets a shot away. It's sitting right on the goal line, and it's cleared. Law down to the left corner. Bothered there by Pesci. Stevens now with it back behind the net. Stevens gets it back up to the point. Wildcats get back to full strength. Here's a shot knocked down. Wildcats play it ahead, but the pass intended for Kelleher off target. He would have walked in alone. The Wildcats have had so many chances with odd man opportunities, and the passes have just not been quite where they need to be. Here comes Smatula back the other way. Smatula up ice into the zone, drags it back, gets around, gets a backhander away. That goes up over the top. A takeaway here, though. It's Kelleher. Right wing side, he goes. Carries it in, steers it for Downing. His little blind centering pass is picked off by Reed and sent around the boards. It's going to get to the right point in Maller. Dylan Maller with this one. Maller pulls it back for a shot. Comes loose, and here's a score! It got loose to the far wing side, and Kelleher lifts it up under the crossbar, and the Wildcats take a 1-0 lead with 15-11 to go. Well, we just talked about the freshman of Northeastern and a freshman from the Wildcats makes the big difference here in the game so far. All the way down into the third period by the time we got a goal and the freshman Tyler Kelleher just waited on the far post. Dylan Mather with a, Mather with a nice uh, play uh, along the wall to keep it in and avoid the first player for Northeastern to get the puck towards the net. It took a deflection off one player's skate and the stick of another. And there was Kelleher just waiting on the far post. And he buries it. Sent down low and into the corner. Right wing side, downing a centering pass, trying to get it back to Kelleher, but that's blocked aside and now cleared. Lee going after it. Maller trying to get there first. Puck ends up deflecting down into the Wildcat right corner. Maller going after it there. Trying to push this puck to the front. There's a huge save by DeSmith as the puck deflected to Hedges. But DeSmith held his ground and keeps it a 1-0 lead for the Wildcats. So here, and he is able this time to clear it down to the Husky line, and Saucerman has it again. Plays it to Stevens. Ahead and into the zone, it's carried by Smatula, 11 seconds. His shot, high and wide, comes off the boards to the near wing side. Willow's able to clear it out, and the Wildcats will win game one as the puck gets into the Husky zone, and New Hampshire a 1-0 victory in the opening game of the Hockey East quarterfinals against Northeastern as the Wildcats go back to celebrate with netminder Casey DeSmith, who unofficially stops 27 in the game for the Wildcats. We'll see if that gets adjusted here before we get the final post-game recap. But a goal in the final period by Kelleher.